Hallelujah. Amen. Because you see, I, I think it's important for us to understand where we are. And what God is doing in this time. Because the Bible tells us that we're in the end time. If you'll remember just the other day we were reading in the book of Acts. When the Holy Spirit was poured out. Peter said this is that which was spoken of by the prophet Joel. He said, this was the end time. When the Spirit of God would be poured out. Well if that was the end times. Then this is surely the end time. And that was to be the beginning. That Amen. was to be the beginning of things. When the church age. And miracles began to happen everywhere. Amen. And, and that was to start the church going. And it was only the beginning. So today we should see more miracles than even saw in the book of Acts. But in many places in the world, the church has no power. There's no miracles taking place. There's no move of the Spirit happening. But God is to this place today to tell you that miracles are available to you right now. There's no reason to wait for anything else. The Holy Spirit has already come. The Holy Spirit is in the earth. The same Holy Ghost that was there when God created the heavens and earth He's here today. The same one that was with Jesus. And he performed miracles everywhere he went. He's here with us today. So I want to talk to you today about faith for miracles. And we're going to See, whenever we're standing at a place where we're about to enter into revival, whenever we're about to enter into revival, the devil will come with a challenge. He will come to try to stop the church. Uh, I think I'm going to read just a little passage from this. So this was in February of 2020. In, in America, pandemic began in March of 2020. We didn't know about any pandemic. We didn't know what was going to happen. But I was praying with a group of people in our church. And as I prayed in the spirit, I began to see a vision. And I saw uh, the mountains. And I saw a large beast rise up over the mountain. And this beast began to wreak all kinds of havoc on the earth. All kinds of horrible things were happening. It was like uh, he was destroying all of the earth. And I saw Christ standing on the earth. And he said, Standing on the earth. And it was like there was a dome of protection over him. And it was like there was a dome of protection over him. And he just stood there as this beast did all of his work. And after some time it passed. Jesus stood up to the beast. Yes, no, chung, can you and he just me? pushed his hands out like this. Kai no, riem, pad, no, biru, ja, chin, no. And it was banished from the earth. Kai, ja, chin, no, go, lo, and then 
I heard these words. Do not fear the things you see coming upon the earth. For the enemy is being stirred up in the realms of this world. You will see in the political arena. There is a stirring and a craziness that's taking place. And I say, do not fear or be alarmed. But know that I am at work. For the enemy is running scared. The, the enemy is becoming confused. And he will bring up tactics that many have not seen before. But there is nothing new under the sun. There is nothing new, says the Lord. For I have equipped you and I have trained you. I have developed you to be whom I have called you to be. And if you will concentrate on me, do not be distracted by the things of this world. Do not be dismayed because of what you see coming upon the earth. For in many realms the enemy is stirring up trouble. But I say in the same way, I am stirring up my people to rise up and to stand and to defeat the enemy in every land. You will see that I will come upon the earth not only in this place, but around the world. And those who are known by me, and, and those who call upon my name, and those who stand in my name, they will see great and mighty things done by my hand. For as the enemy comes in like a flood, you will see a standard raise. And you will see that those who call upon me will rise up in the power of my name. They will rise up with power and might. And I will defeat the enemy, says the Lord. Because I, because I already have. And you will see once again. There will be a display. But this display will be a display of my glory. It will be a display of my wealth. It will be a display of my power. And you are among those who are called to stand in my stead. And you will see that as the day approaches, even more so, press in and stand and be strong and do not be dismayed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm going to read just the end part of this. Says, so receive my peace and enter into that deep, deep well. Do not stop until I have filled you up to a place that I have said now is enough. Do not do it out of fear or compulsion. But understand it is a calling and an invitation to come with me and receive. So let this peace guide direct you. And bring you into a deeper place with me. And you will see the places that we will go. The things that we will do. 
That which will be accomplished will be done in such a way that the world will stand in wonder. And you will receive the grace and a greater quality of life that could have been had in any other way. Amen. Amen. So this is a prophecy that God had spoken to us. But no better. Okay. And it came before the pandemic hit the earth. See, the Holy Spirit will tell you things to come. He'll prepare you for what's uh, what is ahead? And he'll help you to know how to deal with it. See, he told us, don't be distracted by the things of this world. But stay focused on him. And see, I believe the Lord showed me something during the pandemic. I believe he brought us to a place in the spirit realm. That as the people of God, we were much like the children of Israel. When Elijah stood against the prophets of Baal. You see at that time, and I don't know, uh, the, 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 the prophets of Baal were, were saying that, that Baal was God. And Elijah the prophet was saying that God is God. Let's see, I, I want to read something from the word of God here. First Kings chapter 18. Verse 17. And it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah, that Ahab said unto him, Art, art thou he that troubleth Israel? Okay, okay. Uh, let's, let's, come, let's, let's go a little Just read it then. further. Okay. Just preach you interpret. No problem. Right. We'll jump down to 20. It says, So Ahab sent all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. This is sec 1 Kings 18, verse 20 and 21. You can read it. You can look in your uh, Luo Bible. Uh, 20 and 21. So Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. So, so here we had the children of Israel. These are God's people. It's like they were caught between two opinions. Is, is, is Baal God? Is Baal God? Or is Jehovah God? See, when this, when this pandemic hit the earth, Many were caught between two opinions. Some were calling upon the uh, politicians in the land. Some, some were calling upon the doctors and the scientists. And the scientists were telling us their opinion. And they're saying they're 
saying it's time to close the church. But what they didn't understand is that you can't close the church. Because you are the church. You may close the doors on a building. You may tell people they can't come together. But you cannot stop the church. If the church is within you. But even the children of God began to wonder what is this thing. And they started listening more to uh, what the politicians had to say. In America, every day on the news, they would tell you how many people have died. They would tell you how bad it is. They would tell you to stay in your home. And they would continue to tell us all the news of what's happening around about. And we were stuck between two opinions. Would we believe the the prophets of this world? Would we believe all of the bad news that was going on? Or would we trust in the living God? Protect us and keep us. Amen. So this went on for some time. And it's similar to what happened here in Elijah's day. As the children of Israel were caught between two opinions. Elijah said, I have an idea. Go ahead and bring me all the prophets of Baal. Let them call upon their God. And then I will call upon my God. And the God who answers with fire, that God will be God. Amen. Amen. So the prophets of Baal all came. And they started doing all of their rituals. They jumped up on the altar. They cut themselves with rocks. They, they cried out to the Lord. And the Lord said, I will not hear you. They took the boy and they cut it into pieces and put it on the altar. And they cut it pieces and put it on the altar. But nothing happened. But nothing happened. So Elijah, Elijah, he began to mock them. He said, where is your God? Has he gone to the bathroom? Is he sleeping? What's going on? Why don't you shout a little louder? Maybe he's deaf. And they continued on and continued on. And just like the same thing is happening in the world today. These doctors are coming up with ideas to fix the problem. The politicians are promising more money to fix the problem. And yet the problem continues. And even in America, where things have been great. We're seeing a bad time. We're seeing prices that have gone way up high. We're seeing lack in areas we've never seen lack before. Because you see, the God of this world has no answers. But this is a time for the church to rise up. For us to be Elijah in the earth. It's a time for us to show the world who our God is. We are called a peculiar people. We are called a holy nation. And you see a peculiar people. Amen. That means when there's famine in the land. You eat. You eat. You have enough. When there's lack, you have a full supply. When the world is uh, at war, 
Because there's something peculiar about you. Hallelujah. You have something this world could not have. But I want to, I find it interesting what Elijah had done. After all the prophets of Baal did their things. Then Elijah, he said unto all the people, come near to me. And all the people came near. He says he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. And when I read this, during that time of COVID, I just wept before the Lord. Because it's time to repair his altar. The world has defiled the altar of God. But we have an opportunity now to place things in order. To bring back that which is ours. To call upon the living God. He will answer us. But it's things that we must put in order. The altar that must be repaired. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And Elijah took 12 stones. According to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob. Unto whom the word of the Lord came. Saying Israel shall be thy name. Amen. And with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord. And he made a trench about the altar as great as would contain two measures of seed. And he put the wood in order. And he cut the bullock into pieces. And he, and he laid it on the wood and said, Fill four barrels with water and pour it on the burnt sacrifice and on all the wood. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So see, what Elijah did is he said, I'm not going to just leave this altar the way it is. I'm not going to use a mess to serve God. But I'm going to yes. put this in order. So that I'm going to honor my God. And he did it according to uh, the ways that he knew. He made sure that the stones were placed in the right place. He made sure that the wood was set in order. And he made sure the sacrifice was placed there. And then, and then just to be sure that Elijah would bring no um, glory to himself. He poured water over the altar. And the Bible says he did it a second time. And he did it a third time. So that every part of the altar was soaking wet. So that the water was filled all around the altar. There was no way man could do anything. Maybe. Maybe Elijah could get a spark from a rock. So he wanted to prove that couldn't happen. He was taking away every uh, ability that man would have to start this fight. Putting his trust completely in God. Then when he began to call upon his God, the Bible says that God answered with fire from heaven. Not only did he consume the offering, he consumed the altar. 
So here's what we're going to do. When we come back, I'm going to teach a little bit about faith. And we're going to look at how God did miracles throughout the Bible. Then I want you, then I want you to come with, with the miracle that you need. And come expecting God to do something. I'm telling you today you'll see a miracle. If you know someone that needs a miracle. Call them up and tell them to be here. Because if they don't come, they're going to miss out. But the great thing is, the miracle you receive, you'll be able to share with your friends. You'll share. And more people as they come to this church, you'll have a miracle to give to them. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm telling you, God is going to heal the sick. Yeah, he's going to bring uh, peace to the tormented. He's going to, he's he's going going to give sight to the blind. Yes. He's going to give sight to the blind. Even those who are deaf will hear. That is the God that we serve. That is the power that's available to us. And my prayer is that when we leave this place today, that you are empowered to know that even you when you lay hands on the sick they will recover hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. so let's worship God for a moment Father God we just thank you we worship you praise you we glorify you Jesus hallelujah 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 where, who is the pastor? Uh, pastor Zaya. Okay. Can I pray for him? Please pray for him. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to prophesy over your life. And I'm going to prophesy over your church. God's going to do a great work in this Okay, so and the Lord says, I've seen your struggles. I've seen the difficulties that you face. And I've been with you. And I've found you faithful. And you'll see this day. I'm stirring up gifts that are within you. And my spirit is going to fill you afresh this day. And you'll be able to look back on this day and remember. This is the day that the Holy Spirit touched me. This is the day that the gifts were stirred up in me. And there's, there's rising up a fire within you that will spread. Mm. Do not be concerned about the small beginnings. But as you're faithful to me, I will be faithful unto you. For in your private times with me, I'm going to begin to reveal new things to you. You'll have revelations that people will wonder, where did this come from? And from those revelations of God, the, 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 the news will go far and wide. And people will begin to come to see what it is that you have. And I will meet them with my power. And you will produce change in this community. So prepare yourself. Know that I am coming. 
Yes, even repair the altar of the Lord. And you will see that as you do, and as you spend time with me, and you call the people to prayer, I will meet you there. So now receive this anointing and receive this grace to walk in this and see my face. For I am about to show myself in a way that you have not seen before. So right now, be filled. Be filled fresh and new. Be stirred up in the things of this morning. And allow me to bring my revelations to you. Yeah, spend time, spend time praying in other tongues. And allow the revelations of my spirit to lead you. For you should be at least one hour every day doing nothing but praying in the Spirit. And you'll see that I'll bring my revelations. You'll see that the Word of God will come alive. And you'll be able to deliver great things to these people. Now release that to him now, Lord, in Jesus' name. <laughs> all, all of it in Jesus. <laughs> now your blessing, let your blessing yes. rest upon him, Father. Let your blessings overtake him. May he have the grace to minister to his people. Even more and more. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we're uh, I'm finished for this morning. I'll let, uh, I'll let Pastor Olo tell us what's next. I'll see you at the next service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.